Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back. I've done a little bit more work to the aircraft, to the helicopter. Uh, I just wanted to point out a couple of things there that, um, it's obviously, it's not, it could be longer, like it's not a full helicopter, it's built to fit in the carrier. Um, but maybe what I'll do is I'll put out a fuller, larger version of this. It should be longer, and as you can see where the rotor is, it's a little bit far forward. It sh should be more center with the center of the aircraft. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm testing out the altitude uh, hold on it, which I will put in um, the black helicopter because it doesn't have it yet. So yeah, we'll go to we'll go to 50, and we should be able to hold there. So it's just all I did was just you're taking the altitude, and you're taking this number, and then you're saying greater than or less than, and you're inputting a value. Plus one, minus one. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm tuning it because plus point one and minus point one was still too much. So I'm trying half, point zero five, negative point zero five, just to see if that works, if it's a bit smoother. And then I added these fans on the side just to help with the rotation a little bit when it's in the air. Um, yeah. I decorated the inside. Here, once I get it up there in the air, I'll, I'll be able to get out of the seat and uh, walk around. So I'm just getting ready to hook up the controls and I thought, okay, well, we'll just test out the altitude. Hold, that's sort of the first one. So we go to 50 uh, and then we activate the altitude hold. And now it will take us down to 50. There we go, and it'll bounce. Now that's pretty smooth. So now that we're holding at 50, we can turn this to say point, uh, point 0.7. And that turns that fan on. And what that will try and do there, now we're, you see we're beating the rotation. And now if I turn this to negative point 0.1, it should start pulling us in the other direction, I think. Or maybe it's point 0.1. That's basically where I'm at now, is I'm trying to get it to be stable. Yeah, there we go. Now we've almost stopped moving, and we're holding. So now I can get out of the seat. I can go to the back, let's say. I can open this up and then I don't have the panel hooked up. I can unlock this, lower it down. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much holding here. I can go lower if I need to. It's pretty steady and now I can, I can work off of it. I just thought that was pretty cool. I just wanted to show that there. And then, so I've got some scuba suits in the back uh, because obviously when we go into the water, we're gonna need to put a scuba suit on so we can breathe. Um, and then there's the oxygen here and uh, yeah and I mean it can be hard to move around sometimes especially when it's so I put the seats in um, and then just some basic equipment if you're going down to do a rescue or something like that and some repair equipment just in case we take damage a couple of parachutes in case we need to bail and that's it so next I'll be working on just filling in the rest of the controls uh, it'll be easy now to use the camera and uh, pinpoint something. I need to put a transponder locator in here and that sort of stuff as well. So as you can see, once I do this to the attack helicopter, um, I mean, you, you can pinpoint an object far enough away and with the missiles, I know they work, uh, you should be able to easily uh, strike it or shoot it even with the guns that it has on it, right? The one gun that can move. Yeah, it's, it's stable, it works, it's kind of nice. It, it, it slowly rotates still. Um, so there's just some fine, fine, fine uh, calibrating to do, and I'm definitely trying to do that. Like maybe this needs to be, um, or maybe this needs to be like uh, 05 instead. Maybe that's just a bit too much. There, and you see we're slowly, it's just slowing down just ever so slightly. Maybe the rotor needs to be tweaked a little bit. So yeah, so that's what I'm working on. I just wanted to throw that out there just to show uh, that's the altitude control. We're still at 50. 
guzzling fuel, but it works. And now, like I say, we could go in here. You could open this up. Of course, it's spinning in a circle, but that's fine. It's not, um, you know, we're within 50 meters. Um, and then what I can do actually probably is take a um, an angular speed sensor and probably use that to try and, yeah. So like I say, there's just a few more things that need to be calibrated in here, and that'll be perfect. But I really like how stable it is. Uh, the next video I'll put out will be me inside the harness. And I'll go out and lower, like, lower it. Like, we'll try and see if we can do a rescue in the water. This is cool. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.